Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now we're in Australia and um, it is hot. Still, still hot. <laughs> I think it's going to be about 34 degrees today they say. So I've got the fan going. For some reason it's making this apparent. I don't know. Maybe it's just getting old and tired. You know, <laughs> just making a terrible noise. Now, I've been working on some thing, like things, but I wanted to come in and show you what I've been doing because I haven't put up a video for a few days and I really wanted to show you that I'm not actually doing nothing and I'm working <laughs> I'm working on my gypsy album book thingy now this is going to be the front cover and I don't haven't finished it yet but I I, I sort of I sort of thought I wouldn't mind a bit of feedback if that's all right um, but then again I really like it so <laughs> that's what it matters doesn't it and here is my front page. This is going to be on my front page. So this is, I hope that you can see, the front of the gypsy wagon, um, the door. All right. Now, it wasn't that hard to do, really. It was the getting there, you know, because I don't know about other people, but I have a lot of um, issues where I've got to figure out what it's got to be. I want to sit there and you know move about things and you know sort it out and anyway so this is what I come up with this is a piece of card board underneath there it's only a thin piece off the back of a writing pad because I didn't want anything too heavy um, so this is actually going to go on to this piece here haven't worked out yet whether I'm going to use it as an operating door or not um, this will actually be the a, a pocket this part like the others that I've done um, I covered this then, first of all I first drew it on a piece of paper and it's really easy to do that, all I did was just fold the paper in half so I could cut that part out so it would be exactly the same and then I cut this part out for the window, okay I then covered, then I cut it out with a piece of cardboard um, and then I've covered it with this piece of um, fabric that is off a, a, a pillar case okay this is all <laughs> really cool because this is really really into recycling this page um this, this garabin uh now i so i covered it with that and then i thought well a window and i i couldn't figure out what to do with the window i wanted to put a picture in there and you can just probably see down in there only from i mean there's a there's a picture of the inside of a gypsy wagon which you can just barely see but it's so it's not just nothing you know then I needed a curtain and I put that there and I keep getting fluff and things stuck all to it which is I'll pull that off later now this piece here I'm really I'm really proud of that piece <laughs> this is actually a tassel off the bottom of a tassel piece that was on a bit of fabric that Nola Harris sent to me and there was there was a, a piece, nice piece of um, sheer fabric with embroidery on it, and then the bottom had all this part here, and then the bottom was all tassely down there. So I decided that I wanted to make this a bit bigger that area. So I tied that, I tied that one, tied the other one, I went across and I tied those so they would make it a bigger piece. Don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but anyway, I will try and show you one day how how I did that. Okay, so then I put that behind there, but I also tucked in then a piece of um, gathered up red um, tulle in behind that. I went crazy with the, with the gold there, didn't I? Now this piece here is off a, a, a shirt that I bought yesterday, a top, because it was just covered with frillies, covered with frilly bits. And then when I was sitting there, you know, Okay, right, that could go around there. I'll just give that a look and see what it looked like, you know. So it's sort of bringing the wagon at you, sort of thing. <laughs> Trying to explain that anyway. Um, so then this here piece is actually all little strips because I had an old skirt and I really liked this part here. And so I tore, tore that off still got other more but I tore it put it down here in stripes like this because the stripes were only 
not very wide so I wanted so I put all these single ones down here I cut that piece off a piece that um, Susan Freeman sent me thank you very much for that Susan that's nice and there's one of your flowers that you sent me because I thought that looked really cool there now as you can see I've not done anything exciting with the back yet because I'm still um, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the I'm thinking I, I might like a doorknob there I probably need another bit of this colour here somewhere uh, I might I don't know what the decoration is going to be behind this maybe I will just dull this down with a piece of lace I didn't realize that this other um, page that I'd done I'd actually put it on the same velvet same color velvet that that doesn't matter because you can hardly see it anyway um, you know because of all the stuff that's on there but I'm thinking maybe these might look all right you know into the in the one thing that's what you know, I'm sort of aiming for I need to need it all to go together <laughs> um, but anyway so this is my door thinking about a step don't know about the steps you know because thinking the step would come I don't know but anyway I will get it done because I'm really keen and I when I started I had this green bit for ages, just that covered on the cardboard today and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at stuff and I'm thinking what am I going to do, what am I going to do, which I'll put where, you know, it was just too, it was just, and all of a sudden I just started, I don't know, <laughs> it just went together for me in this way. So, um, I do hope that you like that, I'd like you to, if you do like this video, please Put a thumbs up and, and, and it'd be nice to make a comment and also it'd be lovely if we get um, you know i'd like to subscribe to my channel and you can see how further along my book is going okay and i will be back hopefully this afternoon i'm going to do a bead doll tutorial for a lady who wants to see dolls lots of dolls so <laughs> she said could i please make a bead doll so i've done some of those as well so i'll come back after um because I've got to go on a bit of a break now I've been sticking and gluing you know flat out but anyway so thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for all your lovely comments and all my all my lovely subscribers I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel I am going to be doing a giveaway and I will be putting that up in the next few days when I I know what I'm, it's going to be it'll be one of my <laughs> one of my books maybe yeah, it could be this one. Don't know yet. Might not. I don't know. I can't decide. If I make this, or when I do finish making this, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> a friend of mine said, bring it down to her shop and she'd have a look at it for us to see if it was good enough to put in her shop. And I thought, well, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my book. <laughs> anyway, so thank you everybody for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.